this question, we see the picture. Probably worth us to do a little bit of thinking even before we read it. We have our free body diagram, which is force of gravity that way. We have the force normal that way, and those are equal and opposite to each other. We have this applied force that is at an angle, which means we would need to find the components where this is a 90 degree angle. So this is Fx and this is Fz. And we don't know if there's any friction, but if there were friction, it would be in that direction. Black is, uh, block is pulled along the horizontal, frictionless surface, so no friction. The magnitude F, the force theta with the vertical in that case. The magnitude of the acceleration of the block. So we have F net equals MA. So we're looking at A equals F net over M. And the net force is this FX. So A equals FX over M. The magnitude is, so we, we, we know that there's got it, Fx is a component, so it's not just F over M, so that allows us to take that one out right away. That doesn't improve our odds very much from 0.33 to 0.25 to guess from there. So now we want to do some geometric work here. And this is one of the reasons I don't like remembering that the formula for work is Fd cosine theta, because theta may be defined differently. And so it's kind of a nonsense approach, if you ask me. But in any case, I draw a line like this. So then I know that these two are parallel to each other. And this would be a 90. So this is 90. This is theta. This is 90 minus theta. And that makes then two parallel lines cut by a transversal. That makes this 90 minus theta. And that makes this theta. So if I want this fx, that is the opposite side compared to the hypotenuse f. So sine of theta is fx over f, and therefore fx equals f sine theta. Going back to my original work, fx then, a is fx is f sine theta over m, and we can see then that that is choice B.